The wedge and dash model is used extensively in chemistry because it allows us to give perspective to that three-dimensional geometry of molecules, much in the same way that art uses perspective to give us a much more realistic idea of our everyday life. And there's a, a neat example in your textbook that gives an analogy between three-dimensionality and two-dimensionality in art. So as you're using this wedge and dash um, model, we're always going to consider um, a molecule in the same position in that for a tetrahedral molecule, there's it's going to rest on a tripod and all the bond angles are 109.5, but there are going to be always two that are in the plane of the paper. There's one that's going to come towards us and there's one that's going to go behind the plane of the paper. So make sure that you draw those single lines so it's clear which are in the um, plane of the paper. They're typically drawn on the left-hand side, the, the top and then the left-hand side. And when you draw the wedge and the dash, make sure that um, the apex of the triangle, so the smaller end of the wedge, is at the carbon. And that kind of shows perspective of the bond going from the carbon to the hydrogen towards us in the wedge and away from us in the dash. And then when we draw this, we don't want to bunch the outer atoms together. We want to make sure that it, the wedge and the dash structure represents the molecule in a three-dimensional structure as best it can. So we don't want to bunch them together. We want to have them as far apart as possible. Basically, in this tripod formation where we have three um, of the outer atoms kind of holding the carbon up and then one carbon on the top.